Hey guys, what is going on? This is the Spawn with Boss Strike 13, Boss Enforcer Shro for the third time, I think. I have no idea how many times she comes back. And isn't this the same screenshot I used for the last time she came back? Mm, Z Z2's on top of their game right now, I, I see. And you can tell by the rewards, which... I'm, and by that I mean the prize units. They all suck based on what they look. Except this one. This one might be decent. But the crop buster is complete crap. And, well, the Chinook has a redeemable shotgun shot, so I'll give it that. But that's about it. Otherwise, this strike kind of sucks. Besides the near 100 nanos, you get a tier 9. So, anyway, let's get right to it. Alright, this is this seems pretty good. Um, for this boss strike, I tend to stick around the fire cave place. Because... A lot of my good units have a resistance to it. Uh, I usually use electric fences here, but as you can see, mine are a bit torn up. So I'm just using other things. Now, board twos, if you didn't know, they are immune to fire. There was a post about this a while ago on the forum. And the elemental nomad is also immune to all elements, so... It's another good thing about it. Frags are immune to fire. Plasma artillery isn't immune, but it's just really useful to have around. And yeah, this is what I typically just used in the strike. In the hot area, that is. So. And somehow my dog got in here, but whatever. But whatever. Anyway, let me just find one more thing to put up as a defense. I think I put out too many offen offense units, but whatever. I'll just put down a quick mega. And we'll see how this goes. It shouldn't take too much damage from the fire. Anyway, I'm gonna start off the battle a very simple and typical way. By doing that. And yeah, so this is pretty much how this battle is gonna go now. I'm just going to try to take out as many things as quickly as I possibly can. And I... Wait, why do Silver Wolves have heavy Arctic tanks in the middle of a frickin' fire cave? Okay. I get that they're not supposed to be the smartest, but come on. <laughs> I didn't notice this before. Why do Silver Wolves have freaking heavy Arctic tanks in the middle? Okay, I can't believe I didn't notice this before. <laughs> Oh god, silver wolves, man. Anyway, I'm just gonna finish up this battle, or this wave, real fast. There's only four waves, so I have literally zero problems here. As this thing pathetically tries to actually deal damage. Can I finish it off with one shot here? Let's see, what's the armor piercing? 20%. Uh, so you're telling me there is a chance. Heck yeah. Anyway. Alright, this doesn't seem too bad. That hit was completely pathetic. Let's just hit everything with the plasma artillery. That was effective, like always. And yeah, maybe I can actually get a no loss here, but I doubt it. Alright, that was awesome actually. Too bad I'm gonna have to wait a while till I can do that again. Just just EMP these things. There you go. Works like a charm every time. Alright, this should this This is literally the easiest weight formation I have found so far. I don't think I encountered it before. Uh let's see. Do I wanna melee yeah. There we go, that was fantastic actually. I'm glad that the AI in this game isn't good enough, because they could be bombarding me every turn with those guys. Not anymore, of course. But yeah, that's how it could have went. So, yeah, the tank really isn't taking that much fire damage. I think I might keep it... I think I might just keep it around for defense. The tank and the electric fence don't really take that much damage from this. I gotta say, though, the elemental damage is one of the... Um, biggest twists, biggest twists, I guess, we have seen here in a while. That 
the last strike that I was absent with Shaman Kuros again. That was... I heard that it was really freaking lame. Even though it was an easy strike apparently. But I guess I'll never know since you guys all know how my friend did in that one. I said the story multiple times. Freaking 1751 points. Yikes. Anyway, let's just finish this. I probably should have used the jumping attack, but whatever. We're on wave 4. <laughs> Doesn't matter. I think I can actually have a no loss here. Let's see. Can I get lucky? Nope. Definitely not. Alright, that sucks. This is why I hate alpha trucks, honestly. How do you dodge plasma raining down from the sky twice? I can understand it once, but now you're dodging it twice. Showing off, man. I don't know why I brought the boar twos. I haven't used them once. But whatever. Let's just finish this. Since my plan for finishing this no loss is ruined. And yeah. So this was boss this was the boss strike. Like I, s I think I said this earlier in my previous video, this really is one of the weakest strikes so far. Like Dr. Vogel was my previous best strike with 250,000 points. Um, I've been slacking off since then for some reason. But right now, I mean, I'm already doing well. We hit tier 6 like an hour ago, or not, not even an hour ago. And I've had minimal casualties so far. And from whatever casualties I had, they're extremely easy to heal. I mean, I've been stockpiling things for a really long time for this strike. So I am completely ready. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. This was a Spartan. Rate, comment, subscribe, go right ahead. I really like comments the most though, so. Now, um, I hope you guys enjoyed, and goodbye.